Back here in the studio, catching up with Duncan of Loveland, and uh, looking uh, pretty good over there at Loveland, I imagine. Oh yeah, yeah? you know, uh, been getting a lot of new terrain open, Great. chair four and chair eight, people wait, people get really excited about yeah, that. Yeah, there's some good stuff off those chairs. Exactly, and we're happy to have that open for you our bet. customers. Now it was a pretty warm, mild week for, I mean, for everybody, but uh, were you guys able to keep those conditions to them pretty nice? I mean, how's that work? Definitely, you know, it was warm and sunny, but mm -hmm. our conditions hold pretty well up on the Continental Divide. You know, we're one of the highest ski areas here. Absolutely, that ridge is at 13.1, right? Exactly, yeah, up there. exactly. So um, yeah, the conditions hold up pretty well, and uh, with this new snow and more in the forecast, we're really looking forward to a white Christmas. All right, well, and we're uh, poised to have that with some of this fresh snow, so Thanks. it should be a good time to get over there. Now, uh, what is happening then for uh, some improvements that's going around at Loveland? Because you guys have been working hard throughout the summer and the fall up until now. Definitely, we've got a couple projects that yeah. we've been working on and they're finally finishing up uh, just in time for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Ptarmigan Cabin at the top of chair two. If uh, you're not familiar with Loveland, we have a series of warming huts spread out strategically around the mountain. Right. Great place to take a little break, warm up, and uh, we're real excited that on the top of chair two, Ptarmigan Cabin, we renovated it last year. This summer we added some bathrooms, and then just last week we opened a food and beverage service up at the top of uh, chair two at 12,000 feet. Nice, so you can get a little bite uh, and w when you're kind of removed from the base area. Exactly, limited menu, mm -hmm. but at 12,000 feet with breathtaking views, yeah. it's a great place to stop, warm up, grab a bowl of chili, hot dog, maybe a can of beer, and uh, just take it all in. That's not a limited menu to me, beer <laughs> and uh, chili dogs. I think uh, I can uh, hang with that for a little while. Oh, yeah. I'd be all right with that. Cool. Well, and uh, what else has been happening down the base area? How are the renovations going on over there? Exactly. We've also expanded the Basin Lodge mm -hmm. uh, to add about 300 additional seats to That's the lodge. That's pretty exciting, yeah. Exactly. It's a pretty big deal for yeah, us, it and it'll really spread people out and give everyone the extra room they need to really enjoy a great lunch. At yeah, we'll really look forward to uh, seeing that open. Exactly. Now, what Loveland also does a great job of just having parties and a good time and uh, what's going on for the holiday season because I'm sure you guys are doing something. Exactly. You know, we've got some great holiday entertainment lined mm -hmm. up. Magic Rob, who's a local celebrity around here right. in terms of children's entertainment, yep. he's going to be visiting us each Saturday for the next three weeks great. at the Valley. So that includes tomorrow. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, balloon animals, magic tricks, just, he's a great guy, lots of fun. Um, so keep an eye out for him if your kids are doing ski school. Okay. Um, we also have uh, this coming Friday, the 27th, Tiffany Christopher. Now this woman is an excellent musician, one woman band. She plays the drums, guitar, every sings, everything, and pretty talented. We've got a link to her webpage and some of her music online so mm. you can check her out. That should be a pretty good time. We're looking forward to having her. And um, last but not least, it is uh, the Christmas season, right? And Santa is taking a break from his very busy schedule. He does have a busy schedule, indeed. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be seeing him up at Loveland. He loves to come visit his favorite ski area over the holiday and take a couple turns. Nice. Maybe uh, take some last-minute Christmas wishes and great photo ops, handing out candy canes. So keep an eye out for the skiing Perfect. Santa skiing at Loveland. Skiing Santa, got it. Exactly. Gotta love it over at Loveland. Uh, and then what, so you guys also though, throughout the entire season have some great opportunities for demo days. You're gonna kind of take a break from that though during the holidays and, and bring it back for the new year? Exactly, you know, um, events and demo days other mm -hmm. than the holiday entertainment is kind of on hold until after okay. the new year, but pretty much right after the new year, we go right back into our demo days if you weren't aware, Loveland is your demo day headquarters. That's right. Tons of brands. All the time you can find something on mm -hmm. the event calendar. And, uh, and like a great a, opportunity to just try out the latest and greatest. Exactly. Even for AT and Tele skis, right? Well, exactly. You know, we have not only just ski and snowboard demos, mm -hmm. but we have more specific demos. Uh, outdoor divas visits with women's specific uh, gear. Yeah. Bent Gate Mountaineering with all the AT and Tele gear that you were just mentioning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're looking for some more specific type demos, check out the Loveland event calendar at skiloveland.com. Loveland's place to be. Yep. yep. Something for everyone. Now you just said the website right there, skiloveland.com. That's the place to find all the details, event calendars, everything like that. Exactly. Okay. Skiloveland.com. You can find everything Loveland. And uh, one thing, though, I really want to encourage people to do is check out our Facebook page. Oh, okay. Loveland has a really great Facebook page, and you know, of course, you can find all the happenings and whatnot there. Yeah. But we also have really cool uh, pictures submitted by some of our customers mm -hmm. and stories. 
things that, you know, it's not just the marketing guys making up stuff. It's right. the real life uh, Loveland experience on Facebook. So you can get a real view of what Loveland is like without all the hype. Without, yeah, and without getting over there. And uh, there's the shot of the Facebook page right there. So you can log on and uh, just see what those real conditions are from the real skiers and visitor, visitors at Loveland. And exactly. uh, it, there's so much terrain open and available at Loveland. And uh, it's a great shape. Uh, that horseshoe that goes around I-70 and you're on the divide, it's a great location. Get and some turns in. And still more to come. So keep those fingers crossed for a lot of snow. And, and it is, uh, is a true Colorado experience. You know it. All right. Well, Duncan, great, great to see you, man. Thanks and, so much. Uh, Thanks for coming in here. We are in a uh, happy holiday to you. Oh, as well. happy holiday we are going to take a break. Thank you. And we're going to be back uh, a little bit more. Scotty Bondo again. We're going to catch up with him over at Cool River in Breckenridge. So stick around. Lots more Summer Sunrise to come after this.